everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be continuing The Walking Dead, so let's just get right into it. I would like to apologize because you are going to hear the air conditioning in the background because it's just too hot not to have it on, so I'm really sorry about that. I feel bad for Kenny. Not through so much. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, river's right up ahead. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> oh, let's say. Hmm. Let's keep moving. I'm gonna walk backwards. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... I mean... There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. That's kind of expected. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. Watch Kenny. This start, is yeah. the plan, Lee. Yep. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... It's a good plan. Don't get me... Mm, it's not that good of a plan. It's an okay plan, but... You can always think of better ideas. No, I don't even think it's an okay this plan. Because one anywhere might you take the boat, it's still gonna be full of walkers anywhere you go. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Let's do it. Don't you need money to use those things, though? Maybe you don't. I'm not sure. Where is it? Yeah. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Yeah, that's what I thought. Damn. Built solid. Maybe... <laughs> Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of... Warning? We'll do something like this. Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? I don't want to shoot them, that'll make a ton of noise. these markings. 
They're all over the place. We need some gang related area, probably. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Oh, God. What the... What the hell is that? Something disgusting. A fate worse than death. That's a... nicer description of it, I guess. Abandoned. Every other place in the city. Plenty of docks, no boats. But I feel like something's gonna no jump out that of me. One's salvageable. Nothing but water. Not a boat to I'm be seen. so scared. Hey. What the hell? Get down! Get down! What? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us? If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to talk. <laughs> Why does Kenny want to do this? Want issues? It's gonna pop up. What the? Clementine followed us. Clem? Please, don't hurt him! You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny, stop. Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? 
I ask you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. That's so cute. Wave! You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yep. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. And we've still got someone chasing us. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, kids? No. The children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Oh, Mead started getting really sick. Kristen and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. Uh-huh. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That was pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Um... We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just go. Is 
chasing after. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey, you're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please. Who can't say no to a little baby Clem? Come on, make it fast. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Why do we have to be in a sewage? A creepy dark Shit. sewage alone. Why? No going back now. I mean, I would wait. Like I said, ain't an option. gonna make some too much noise.
go, my dude. You gotta go. I really like Chuck too. Bitch, I'm gonna kill you. You will hurt Chuck. Ah, oh, you've gotta be kidding me! God damn it, no! I'm shaking my boots. Shiver me timbers. Can I get out? Those bars are way too solid. Are you sure, my guy? I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. So there's got to be another way. Those old nuclear fallout shelters. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. Look, I got cornered down here. All I want is to get back out to the streets and find my group. Bullshit! You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Yeah, but I'm not Thank from Crawford. Vernon, what do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them. And I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were, 
We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Well, that is an interesting story. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. No, I don't want Thanks. Wanna... I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own. But we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care. And I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Mm. Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Uh, no. No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much for helping me, but I feel bad. I don't I don't want something to happen to him and then his group has lost a person because of me. Because of Lee. <laughs> No, but seriously, I don't think this is the best idea. But at the same time, I don't think I have a way to get out of the maze, because I don't know where to go. Clementine? Clem? Oh, we're already back. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Right. Oh my god, he's a doctor. He can help him. Lee, thank god you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank god. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Thank you. How bad is he? Oh. Omid, honey. You're gonna be alright. Lee brought a doctor. Alright, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. I understand. Clementine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any games that you would like me to play, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. You know, I always want to have the freedom on this channel where we can just check out a game. And even if it sucks, I don't have to play it again. But it's just for the experience, you know. Try and enjoy all the games. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!